What's going on, champions? Larry635135 coming to you live. Today, we're going to be jumping into uh, the fourth chapter of the Attitude Reunion Tour, this time on a hard mode with none other than Booker T. This is the Harlem Heat Booker. We have him at three star silver. Let's jump into his moveset. We're going to be running him with the traditional yellow, yellow, green. First yellow move is an 11 MP charge yellow move. The second one is a 9 charge yellow move. That's the flapjack. And then the sidewalk slam, which is a 7 charge green MP move. From here, we'll move on into his trainers and coaches. We're going to be using both Akam and Ken Shamrock. They give extra yellow MP up front. We want those yellow moves to be ready as soon as possible since he's not a very high level. And also DX Triple H so that our green matches will generate one more green MP per turn. As we jump into the match, don't forget to drop an elbow on that like button and go subscribe to the video if you're enjoying the content. Also, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. We do get a green match on turn number one. So we're going to be able to throw out these protect gems. Hopefully we can get a pinfall shortly. Get hit with a spear and he is going to have his finisher charged. Unfortunately that means we're going to get hit with a sub. This is still early on. I don't really want to use props on the first match. So if I don't get... Uh, all three stars here. Just come back and, and do the match later to be able to move on to the hell mode door. This was a, quite frankly a terrible board uh, for this particular character and moveset combination. But we are finally going to get the yellow match that we need do cause a pinfall here, which he is easily able to kick out of. And we're going to drop below that three-star threshold right here with this move. So we'll just come back and get it later. Uh, no big deal. We'll go ahead and end the match with the flapjack, which allows, a, allows us to choose a two-by-two two area to turn into protect gems. And then we will use our finisher, the Harlem Hangover, dealing base damage and then additional damage for each Protect Gem that's on the board. That will end the match. One, two, three. That's a bit odd, we only got one loot box on that one. So just a bad board altogether. Not great placement, and sometimes that happens. Moving right along to Samoa Joe. Hopefully this match, uh, we'll get a yellow match and we'll be able to show you what this Harlem Booker can actually do and how to use those protect gems. So no yellow. And at the very last second, I saw that green right after I missed it. So this is not going to be another slow start to the match. Now on turn three, we will be able to run our flapjack and our Harlem hangover. I was checking there to see exactly what that move did, and it looks like it takes away some of our green MP. Um, but these protect gems should be strong enough that he's not able to kick out. One, two, and that's the case. So one, two, three. That's the benefit of those protect gems. Again, not great placement on the loot crates. So we actually don't end up with any loot boxes on that match. Now this match could be a little bit more difficult, uh, even with our Protect Gems, because Daniel Bryan uh, has a 25% uh, 
uh, gym damage bonus because he is an acrobat and we are a showboat. So we are going to equip a couple of props that would be able to help us should we need them. Do get a green match on turn one. Nothing that amounts to anything on turn two. He's going to take our yellow away from us. Um, but we are going to put out at least some protect gems. Uh, you do not get to choose these. They are randomly placed. We're going to use the show of heart prop for the yellow just to go ahead and be able to run those other two moves. And this should be enough to finish him off. Provided he doesn't get a wild cascade. Which he does not. So now we will jump into the hardest match of this particular tour. We're going to try it without props. Uh, and then we'll try it with props, I'm sure. I don't think we'll be able to do it without props. And it is up against uh, Acro Seth Rollins and Showboat Stone Cold. Uh, to be able to get our WCW um, alliance, we're going or our uh, tag bonus, we're going to be using DDP. The reason for that is because of how quickly he charges. Should we need to tag him in? And see, unfortunately, there we got a board that uh, generated an immense amount of green, and that also cascaded into twenty-three thousand damage. And that was only his turn number one. Uh, even if we get out of this, it's very unlikely that we'd be able to win a match. And he's going to use the Gut Buster, which allows him to choose gems to turn into blue. And that should be enough. Also a wild cascade there, a great cascade. So we're not gonna spend our money, we'll just run that back again. This time with the potential to use props. See what the gym board's gonna look like. And we do have a green match we can take. It's gonna give us another green match. But it's gonna give him a purple wild card. Which means he's gonna be able to. Oh, I thought the gut buster would have been charged, but it was not. Be able to get our green move off. Unfortunately, I don't know that that's going to stop the uh, damage from occurring on this Gut Buster because it is a choose gem move. And he gets within one notch of pinning us. And then we'll end the match with a finisher and a cascade. So we didn't even get an opportunity to use our props. Um, that go around. We'll jump right back into it, this time with props from the get-go, and we should be able to win the match easily. Get him healed up. And we're off. I guess this is just proof that the talent score does matter. This talent level opponent is 4,000 uh, talent points above us. See, they're not a great generation to begin with, but with that show of heart, we're going to be able to put out some protect gems and prevent uh, a significant loss of damage or loss of health on 
turn number one for Seth Rollins. Okay. We get a nice line break and cascade combo. Now we'll throw out these random gems wherever they fall. We will reduce his green and his blue. That way, if he does kick out of this, he won't be able to damage us significantly on the next turn before we can tag in. We'll hit him with the hangover. He doesn't have the option to tag in, so he's going to have to break this himself. And it looks like the protect gems are just going to be too much. And so the match is over this time. Very easy with the props. Save up the props. They are useful. Let's see there, we got our 6,100 coins for the event. And that ends this video. Thank you guys so much for staying tuned to the end. Happy Thanksgiving. And until next time, we'll see you then.